We rode out to Appen today and it was a, a classic Sunday ride. It was great. I can tell you do your stretches. Short red bags. Smooth sailing all the way out there, quiet roads. Yeah, they were a bit wet today, but at least it wasn't raining. And I don't know, historically, when we ride out Appen Way around the Campbelltown, Appen area, we always get honked at. I don't know what it is about being out there. Is it the drivers? Is it the roads? Because there's not much shoulder out there. Is it us? And, but today it was all smooth sailing. And um, yeah, when we're out there, we tried a new cafe, reviewed some caramel slice we've never had before. Good thickness to the base. First impressions. Six out of ten. Special shot. Looks good. Mm. Sorry, give me a sec. Okay, zoom back out. <laughs> zoom back I like out. <laughs> I like the caramel slices that the caramel is more like dulce de leche. You know, oh, yeah. it's Spanish caramel, like it's deeper, darker, bit it's like a bit of this like, seems they a bit, like they left it on the stove a bit this too is long. Just, this is, yeah, this is just like normal camera, nothing wrong with it. Yeah, real particular. Yeah, I reckon, yeah, 6.3. I like how you guys are pretty close to each other. Like the scores are, are close, consistent means. Rating, yeah. yeah, consistency. Jesse Coyle, eat your heart out. Are you putting sugar in there? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then cruised it back on home. Around Engadine on the Princess Highway, a stretch of road we've risen thousands of times over the last couple of years, we merged from the far left lane over to the centre lane. Will, the rear rider, he uh, chauffeured us over nicely. He checked for cars. He noted that there was one car in the centre lane about 100 metres back, but that was no issue. There was plenty of time for us to merge over and avoid running into the parked cars. And about five seconds after riding in on the left-hand side of this centre lane, all we hear is this consistent beeping, like beep, 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 and it was coming in hot and strong. And basically, this white car starts coming out of nowhere and sandwiching us between the parked cars and himself. So he is coming over and we're going like 50 k's an hour and he's touching John's elbow. Oh, hey Sarah, we're gonna have to continue this in a second. Hello. Hey. How's your elbow? No, elbow's fine. I think we can get folded. It did, it hit your elbow and folded. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. Like, it just like the car hit down my elbow and like folded the wing mirror back and stuff like that. But we're going pretty fast on the highway, heaps of cars and stuff. So. Yeah, it was like 10, 10 20. It was just. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was wet too. Scene change. So I've provided a police report uh, for the incident, um, given witnesses and stuff statement as well as my own statement. 
Um, the police are going to follow it up. The guy, the driver, didn't even want to give his details, and has already changed his story once. So I think we're in a good spot to push ahead and uh, take the right course of action to make sure that there's one less dangerous driver on the road. Whew. At the end of the day, I'm just so thankful that nothing bad happened to any of us. John is an excellent mountain bike rider and he's got good bike handling skills. So when that car nudged him, he had kept it upright. There was some wobbling, don't get me wrong. It was scary to watch, but none of us went down. None of us went under a car and nothing negative happened. It was just a close call. But when the lady pulled over a K down the road, she was shaking. And that just sort of illustrates, I guess, the gravity of how close a call it really was. And uh, at the end of the day, like we're real vulnerable to a lot of things when riding on the road, but it's a scary thought when somebody comes out with intent or malice because it's completely out of our control. I never like to think like negative yeah. of people or whatever like that, but it does seem like it's pretty on purpose. I mean, I've ridden on the road for a long time and never yeah. had any form of contact or real close calls or anything like that with cars. So yeah, cool. All right, that closes this one out. Keep you updated if anything uh, new arises. Sweet. Okay. The dribble. Ready, ready, ready. Come up, do mind fire. Salt to us. You want a lot more than you. I do a bit like that. And then you dab it on the side so you can dip it later. Yes. That is just incredible. That is. Yeah. Oh, man. This is the one, eh? Mm -hmm. This is the best one in the show. Mm -hmm. I've tried about 10. I can't believe when you finish those two, that will be three in one day. Well, you're a machine. Hey, four and a half hours. Mm.